Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. We are in the center of the city, Benji Kitty Park, one of the biggest spots here in the center of Bangkok. People from all over Thailand and all over the world coming to this vibrant city to settle down. I've got my opinion already. I've been here for several times now. I might share you a little bit of that, but I'm gonna ask the other people that I meet here in this park, why or why Bangkok? Why are you here champ? At the end of each little interview, we're gonna ask if they have some wisdom to pass on. The purpose of this whole video is gain some knowledge as well, a little bit of entertainment. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. Hey champ, what's happening? Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. Uh, well, so I'm making the episode, why or why Bangkok? Uh, why are the people here in Bangkok right now? Are you a tourist or are you living here? Uh, I'm a tourist. I'm oh, you are? A, I'm on a cycling tour. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, sweet. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Sebastian from Austria. Okay, my name is Chai from the Netherlands. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. So you're doing a cycle tour for how long? Uh, four months. You're doing a cycle tour for four months? Yeah. What, where did you start and where are you going? Uh, we started actually in Bangkok uh, yeah. with some friends. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. went to Ayutthaya and then yeah. to, with the train to Chiang Mai and then we went from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai and then down back to Bangkok and now we take a break. Yeah. For about five days and then we start to the south. Okay, but a four months cycling, I can imagine that you're not only here in Thailand or... Oh no, we will be only in Thailand. Yeah. If, if possible, we had to get Amazing. Like, a visa extend. Oh, yeah, yeah. If possible, then we stay in Thailand. We're going to have to wait for the, the 25th of March, I think, yeah, uh, when yeah. they're going to decide yeah. to extend the... Yeah, we, we tried to get the 60-day COVID extension yeah. before, before uh, 25th of March. And okay. Yeah. Oh, you should be fine then. Ah, nice one. So, uh, so why Bangkok? Why did you uh, decide to to have a break here? Uh, because it's in the middle of the of of, of and uh, get some some nice restaurants and yeah. some some things I did did not see in Bangkok before. And uh, oh, this is not your first time. No, it's a uh, third third time. Perfect. So, so, what do you like the most about Bangkok? <laughs> Uh, the f first time I was in Bangkok, I didn't like it at, oh, no? at, at, at all. Okay. Because it's so chaotic, and once you get to know the city, you find places like this park, and yeah. it's a bit quieter. Yeah. Uh, uh, that that uh, I like. Where, where are you staying now, if I may ask? Uh, at uh, Riverside. Okay. Uh, hotel Evis Riverside oh. Hotel. Which is, is it uh, is it near uh, Kosan Road? That's uh, that. No, no, no. It's um it's at the at the at the Klong near. Uh, Near near uh, Asiatic riverfront. Okay, awesome. And yeah. it's it's more calm there, you think? Or yeah, it's so calm. Yeah. yeah, you got got a nice pool actually at the river. It's yeah, really, it's really nice. Nice. Your friends are walking this way, so we walk uh, slowly yeah, that yeah, way as well, because well, otherwise you're running behind. <laughs> um, actually, my my brother is married to to a Thai, a Thai girl. Oh yeah. Yeah, and um, they they are getting married in May in the yeah. south. Yeah. And um, so yeah, that's that's why Thai. Oh, congratulations, man. Do you like the Thai food? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah? yes. <laughs> Amazing, man. Hey, before I let you go, can I ask you uh, if you have to, uh, some wisdom to pass on? <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I learned something from, from a book that uh, somebody left in a, in a, in a hostel in Pizzano Lock. Yeah. And uh, it explains the, the Thai mentality a bit. And so, so uh, sorry, it explains the time and um, uh, the Thai Thai mentality. So, for oh, the time mentality. Yeah. Um, uh, in Western countries, we live like in a line from A to B, from 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 birth to death. Yeah. And that's why we hurry so much. And Thai think in a circle. So they, if if something takes longer, a taxi ride or something, they are pretty chill because life's a cycle. Somebody will do it at some point. And, yeah. Um, yeah. If. I, I try to 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 um, to try that a, a, a little bit. Yeah. If, if I get too much hurried, so I think life is a circle, and yeah. just if if it will if, if it uh, supposed to happen, it will happen anyway. So I love it. Yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for your time, and uh, yeah. yeah, good luck on the trip. Yeah, you All too. Right. Bye. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Awesome, what a guy, what a champ. On a cycle trip for four months, and I thought like how ignorant I am. I'm like, oh, four months. You're probably gonna go. To other countries but uh, that's me saying this uh, spending nine months last year in Thailand loving it and there's so much to see here I'm sure four months not even it's not even enough don't worry don't stress too much because eventually it will be okay don't go from A to B I might as well take you through a new part of the park Benchakiti Forest Park and it has a little skywalk where we just gonna walk over and maybe we find some other people that we can interview and ask a question why or oh why Bangkok and I haven't seen this before it's my first time actually in this park we're just gonna go walk around a little bit I assume that this attracts a lot of birds look at the the layout there's a lot of grass 
a lot of openness. Uh, yeah, a lot of place for birds to, to land and maybe feed themselves and drink some water. A uh, beautiful little place. Obviously, I drop a pin where this park is. If you are in Benjakiti Park or anywhere near Asok or Sukhumvit, you're gonna have to pay this park a visit. Like we've been walking now for hundreds and hundreds of meters. It's still going for it, champs. Uh, not too many uh, people to talk to. I try to approach a few locals without the camera first uh, to show respect, but not everyone is uh, speaking English at the moment. So we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna have to carry on our little walk. Hey, I hope you don't mind. Let's go. A lot of things are possible right now in Thailand. Like a lot of bars are open, restaurants, all the shopping malls are open. I believe all the national parks are open as well. Like I haven't seen any national park that is closed at the moment. So Thailand is ready. Me and Bangkok Pat, we walked through Koh San Road to check it out. And we actually found out that all the bars or pretty much all the bars are open and they're ready for tourism. And also these kind of new parks they are really, this is a major park, champs. Uh, new, waiting for us to explore. I reckon Jeroen from Global Travel Mate, he's been here already. If not, he's gonna have to come here uh, as soon as possible because yeah, um, Jeroen is from uh, the newer areas. It's really hot, it's the hottest day and there's no shade here. Luckily, it's overcast, so we don't walk in the direct sun. Um, and hopefully we'll find at least a few people here. We are actually walking here I'm talking about you and me, alone in this park, um, which is quite interesting. Like there's, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to make it more beautiful than it is. There are uh, people work working here, there's like background noise from the traffic, there's a highway, um, yeah, like 200 meters from here. Uh, you cannot go here. See, there's the, they're still building it, they're still building it, but most of it you can reach. Because I didn't expect this uh, to be part of the video, uh, we're gonna search for one more person here in Binjakiti Park before we're gonna meet our friend, uh, the special guest of the show, I would say, uh, to ask him the same question. He's a very interesting man. He came here with two kids and a wife to move to Bangkok. What drove him here? Why did he come here in the first place? Thailand, uh, Bangkok, is it safe? I know. Bangkok a little bit now and I figured out it's very safe. I actually lost my backpack the other night. This backpack had all the gear in. I've got my uh, uh, my gimbal, uh, the whole setup basically. Only not my camera was not in there but other than that was in that backpack and I lost it when I was drinking with Tyrus Time, uh, Pete from Tyrus Time. We had too many white Russians. I forgot about my bag. Uh, normally I don't drink this much and uh, yeah I had to suffer for a whole day afterwards uh, but luckily kind how kind the people are here the uh, yeah someone found it and gave it to the bar and uh, the bar uh, yeah kept it for us Bangkok is is one of the sa uh, safest major metropolitan cities in the world I think you can leave your phone on the table turn around turn back again and your phone will still be there uh, Obviously there are some places and there are some uh, pickpockets, but there's almost none. There's almost none. It's a very safe city. You just have to be a little bit uh, wise, street wise, I think, uh, to, you know, don't buy drugs. Uh, don't go with the wrong people, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, other than that, like Bangkok is a really safe city. There's a lot of amazing street food, really high quality. There's fine dining, shopping malls. Uh, the infrastructure is quite good with the MRT, the SkyTrain, the BTS, taxis, uh, tuk-tuks. It's all quite affordable. And if you want to escape the city, there are all these parks. Surround you're surrounded by green as well. Like You're gonna have to walk a little bit or take a grab or a taxi. But yeah, there's a lot of green spaces inside of the city as well. You got cheap flights basically to anywhere in Southeast Asia. And maybe what I love the most about Bangkok and I'm gonna get in trouble for this a little bit maybe. <laughs> Don't be too hard on me for saying this. But there are also trains going up to Chiang Mai and that's why I love Bangkok as well because I really do love Chiang Mai, the north of Thailand. Um, then again, I'm not going to compare these two cities. That wouldn't be fair. I think everyone can agree on that because Chiang Mai is like a village city compared to 
the major metropolitan city as Bangkok. <laughs> why or why Bangkok? <laughs> because there are train drives to Chiang Mai. Oh my God, don't be too hard on me in the comments, please. Do you live in Bangkok? Yeah, for a few months. For a few months? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Texas. All right, all right. Never met someone from Texas, really. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So what's your name? Harley. Harley. Like a, like a motorcycle. Oh, all right. That's such a typical name for a Texan, isn't it? Or right. Is it, I, yeah? I, I think so. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I don't know, but... Um, oh, so cool. So Harley, um, uh, you've been here for how long? And, and Probably three weeks. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. First time? It's hot. Yes, first time. It's it's really hot. It is super say. hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was cooling down as well because it rained last night. Uh -huh. But it still, it still heats up even without the sun. Yeah. But hey, thanks for talking to us. Yeah, um, yeah. So you've been here a few weeks. What do you like the most about Bangkok? Um, definitely the people in yeah. the bars. Bars are cool. The bars are cool. Yeah. So the bars do shut at uh, 11 or not? Yeah, or some do. Yeah. Some are like 12, 30 at least, or like one. After two hours of walking around in this park and in Forest Park, we found out that there's almost no one here to talk to. Uh, I approached several people. A lot of people couldn't really talk English. My Thai is very limited. So we are not able to do these interviews right here, right now. We've done already quite a few YOY Bangkoks in the past. I put them down in the end screen. You can click on that if you like that. Brian! <laughs> hey champ! Hey champ, What's happening? I'm good. How are you doing? This is a good surprise. This is a really nice surprise, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> he's just reading a book at the pool. How's it going? It's all Brian good. from... Thank you. Bangkok Musings. Thank you, Musings. Yes. All right. So we've been. I introduced you actually already. Oh, uh, <laughs> I did. I said to. to I, I said. I said to uh, to you earlier on today when we met. Like, oh, we're gonna do it like uh, it's a surprise. But yes. I, well, I announced already that I'm gonna meet someone that came here like three and a half years ago. Yeah, three and a half years ago. Uh, with a wife and two young children. I have a wife and two kids. I'm actually interested. What uh -huh. what drives a man? With two young children and a wife that you married, uh, I don't know how many years now. Whoa, almost 10 years ago. 10 years ago, okay. Yeah. What, what makes a man like you, with a wife and two young children, come to Bangkok? Why Bangkok? Why not Bangkok? <laughs> Basically, we came for work. We yeah? came for work. Okay. Yeah, so I followed my wife here. She got a job here in Bangkok. Yeah. So I followed her here and I would do my own things as well on yeah. the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the main reason. And plus, Bangkok is a beautiful city, you know, it has everything to offer, you yeah. know, and my kids love it here, they love going to school here, so that's perfect for us. So th when, when you moved here, did your uh, children go to school already or? Yeah, they were, uh, m my older one was already in school. Yeah. We moved from Kenya to Bangkok. Right. So my is your wife a Kenyan or no? She's not Kenyan. She's uh, American. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I knew that already, but I'm gonna have, I have to, I had to ask her to get the get the picture yeah, there. So to get the picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. The kids go to school here in Bangkok. Yeah, they love it here. They've made lots of friends. I've also made friends. Some on and off YouTube. I met you through YouTube. Yeah, true. Good yeah. person. Yeah. yeah cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Good champ is. <laughs> <laughs> you moved here for work. You settled down here. Is this going to be your future? Is this here forever? Sadly, sadly no. We've already already been three years, five months. Yeah. And we're thinking of maybe adding one or two more years, you know. Because oh. the kids love it here. But where, where would you go? To the States. To the States? Yeah. Kenya is not an option? How is Kenya doing no, we, at the moment? No, we, we were living in Kenya already. Yeah. So we want the kids to experience all the countries ah, where the parents okay, come okay. from. Okay. Yeah. I never really do this static interviews. I always walking about. So I was like, it's the best. I, I like it because that is, uh, comes out more natural. Uh, so yeah, I was a little bit. Uh, I thought <laughs> we got, we have to change a little bit. So we're gonna change. Yeah, we had to. We're we gonna, had to. We gotta yeah. change one more time after this. I feel, I feel it coming. I feel it coming. He's giving me a workout, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why should people consider Bangkok? The food. Ah, yeah, <laughs> I love you it. Like I'm, I'm a bit chubby as you can see. But anyways, on a serious note, Bangkok has some of the most friendliest people I've ever seen. Right. They are legitimately friendly. Yeah. And they're always, the Thai people are always ever ready to help you out in case you're stuck or anything. Yeah. They're ever there, even if they might, might not understand you or what you're saying, but they are ever ready to listen to you and try to help you out get to whatever it is you want to do yeah so true and so true. number two is food then i mentioned it as number one but yeah i love the food here it's yeah. so good it's so good and of course 
how can I not see the beaches, you know? The beaches? The beaches are awesome. All right, so you... why, why Bangkok? Because the beach is Within the... Thailand. Huh? <laughs> Bangkok doesn't have any beaches. No, but, no, no, um, yeah. but I mean, we've heard it before. Uh, we spoke with a lady, lovely lady uh, from France. It was half, I think she was half Chinese, half France. Okay. And she was also saying, yeah, also the beach. Because you're yes. only an hour and a half away from the beach. Only an hour and a half, yeah. yeah. And I was like, hey, that's that's could be a. It's could, quite yeah. convenient. It's yeah. quite convenient. So next month I'm going to Nepal. Oh right. Oh, that's yeah, something yeah, yeah. people don't know yet. Ah, cool. Yeah. Nice one. Oh, you're gonna to bring the channel as well. Yeah, I'll bring the channel. Oh, I'll be. We'll be watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, before I let you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I reckon like I've I've seen uh, several of your videos. Uh, you're a very calm guy. Lovely. Thank um, you. And you visit some nice places. In all these years that you've been here. Do you have any wisdom to pass on? For the travelers, um, if you want to travel to any part of the world, don't really listen to what people might be saying about that particular area. Because, for example, I'm sorry to say this, mm -hmm. this is me saying it from Bangkok Pats latest video. Okay. There are some people who think when you come to Thailand, it's only mostly for the single people, it's only about sex. But Thailand has far much more to offer than just sex tourism, you know? Oh yeah. Though most people come there for sex, you know, they're sex parts. It's not really, it's not really right. Okay. Thailand has a lot more to offer. So even yeah. if someone wants to go to Kenya, for example, yeah. we have a lot of beautiful landscape. We have so many attractions other than just the animals, which people know Kenya for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's far much more. So in case you want to go travel, visit somewhere, just Go ahead and do it. Just follow your gut feeling. Gut feeling. Follow yeah. your gut feeling. Mm -hmm. Little secrets from Brian. It won't be a secret anymore. But, <laughs> but as much as you came over here, yeah, I was reading a book by the pool. <laughs> a very beautiful pool. I cannot swim. I can swim oh. to save my life, but I, I, it's wow. not my cup of tea. You wow. Know? Yeah. How do you do you swim like like this? Then? <laughs> I had to learn how to swim because of my kids. They're little oh. fish. They can swim any yeah. time of the day. Oh, so That's the actually, only reason you, I had to learn did how Did you take, take lessons because of that? Through my wife, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, that's really, so cool. so what they say about black people not being able to swim, I guess it's true. Oh, wow. I, ne I, never, I never heard that one before. I never heard that one before. A majority of my videos will be all about vlogs. Yeah. And um, I love doing cinematic videos because that's what got my interest in starting a YouTube channel to yeah. do cinematic videos. Yeah. So I have a couple that have gotten a few thousand views, which is good for me. Not a lot, but it's good. I'm a little jealous on your drone shots as well. Like, you got a drone, no? Well, you can always come and borrow me my drone. I don't mind. Nice. Yeah. Well, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. <laughs> thanks for thanks for that chance, James. Thank you for watching again. Normally, there are way more people in Benjakiti Park. Uh, but yeah, this was it. This was as good as it got. Anyway, I still hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to say from the center of Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand, bye for now and, and stay, stay champ! champ. <laughs>